Hey guys, welcome back to the 5R Show. I'm your host Raymond. And as you can see here, we've got unboxing number 53. Yes, I know. I said I would stop. But, you know, the last few unboxings were really very unexpected. It was parts and pieces that I needed and a couple items that I just jumped on. That really good pieces. But, today it's mostly parts except for one piece which I'd been wanting for a while. So, without further ado... Let's get started on unboxings number 53. So today we've got one, two, three, four. Four unboxings. Let's put these to the side. Let's get started with the small ones. First up, well, you know what? Let me, let me, easy. So first up is this one. And I've been looking for this for a while. Now, I had found it in lots and stuff, but I just didn't want all these other extra ones. So I just wanted the one piece. And I finally got them. I needed a second. Well, actually, I already had this, but I carted it in a two-pack. And now I just needed a second one so I can card him in a single pack. Good old original Japanese decoy Optimus Prime you know been looking for this guy for a while and yeah one popped up and I just said you know I'm gonna grab it now the, the one thing I never noticed on that is this piece here it's, it looks like a wheel I never noticed that before now why there's not one on the other side is beyond me I've never seen that before. Let me know if the Japanese version is different from that of the American versions. I don't think so, but it says Convoy right there. So, yeah. So, anyway, Convoy. Okay. We've got our Convoy there. Now, let's go on to the next one, which I had to erase my the address. But, without further ado... There we go. Okay. He's saying, well, what's this? Some guy had, uh, and just parts, guys. Just parts, mind you. Just the weapon parts. And I thought, you know what? I could use that for something. I'm not sure what, but I thought I could use that for something. These are obviously uh, parts for the protector bots. This one being Streetwise, which we just got not that long ago. The problem is it's missing that clip. And that's fine. I bought these so maybe I can figure out how to make something. You know, the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> so, something. We'll do something with that. And now let's get into this one. Put our little pieces over here on the corner this one this one was an important piece pick up i thought uh you know what because no one wants to see that prime combiner come up together more than i do i needed to get this part and i needed to get multiple multiple parts and you're saying well what could that possibly be and it's very simple. Um, these are, again, parts. These parts. Okay, there's one. There's two. Very funny how this guy packs everything meticulously clean and Perfect, so I appreciate that to the Japanese seller. But that's awesome. Here we go. One head, two heads. Now here's the thing, and I don't know, I've never seen that, so I don't know the difference. This has a metallic sheen on it. However, this one does not. Now, 
I don't know if this is a reissue or if it's part of a rare vintage um, silver plastic colored version. So I picked these up. It was 20 bucks shipped, but it was worth it. Seems how one of this, just this one piece on Yafu Ak was going for about 30 bucks already. And there's one up there right now. So the, the question, the thing we're going to do is that I'm going to mold some of these because I don't want to damage the originals, but I want to mold some and then I want to modify them. So hopefully that will happen. And we're going to have to get started soon because I've been wanting to do that for a long time. All right. And now for the creme de la creme, the piece de resistance. This one was very funny because I wasn't looking for it, but it popped up. I had seen them, and these have gone, have skyrocketed, like insanely skyrocketed. Now, I know that, and I better be careful. So I know that um, recently in Japan, these have been going up to up about towards, I want to say like 100, 150, almost 200. So for me today... I was super happy to find this, but unfortunately, and you'll see, shoot, you will see, but unfortunately, the, um, sorry guys, star screen, unfortunately it is, and I'm okay with it, I can live with it, don't care eventually we'll find the rest of the parts so what this is is I believe yeah this is the 15th anniversary version reissue of Starscream so this is not the encore version this is not the original version this is oh it does have it that's awesome so originally i didn't know if it had the this piece oh but it doesn't have the bottom part that's actually weird and so here we go let's see what they gave us okay i see so it's missing the inner tray yeah okay so they sent us the instructions that's nice and then here So there's two things missing on this piece, and I will show you very quickly. Um, unfortunately, fortunately, the the landing gear was there. That that was amazing. So I was kind of oh wow, that's in great shape too. So this version is from the year 2000 something. I forgot when, but yeah. Now, it is a reissue. I know this. I know it for a fact. It's a nice, clean reissue. Look at that. And, as I said, it does come with some parts. The parts themselves actually are... Oh, well. Um, it seems like it was put together or there was missing pieces. But I'm missing two of the vertical fins, the ones that go here, which I will have faith I'll find one day. It's got the missile launchers, so that's a good thing, you know. I'm sorry, not, not the missile, the missiles. Missiles for the missile launchers. Now, there you go. And it's got the longer missiles as well. But unfortunately, it's missing the two vertical fins and the two correct blue fists. In a way, I'm okay with this because I also wanted to mold these parts. So the parts are something that I was looking for. But for this toy, it was about 30 bucks shipped. 
So it's not a bad price for a reissue Starscream. Just need the two correct fists and the vertical fins that go in the rear. But other than that, the toy is just pristine. You can see the shine. Luckily, it's caught on camera. It's really in great shape. It's so sad I could, didn't have those vertical fins. But look at that. It's You can see the shine so nice. So, yeah, it's, it's in great shape. I love, I've always loved the F-15 Transformer toy. It's just so cool, you know. Even the, hmm. well, anyway. So, yeah, so the landing gear is there. That's cool. Wow, it's really jammed in there, too. Wow, it is so tight. I better just leave it. Sorry, guys, I was going to transform it for you, but you know what? It is in really nice condition. It's so tight. So I'm just going to leave it as is. However, I am going to remove the missile launchers. So that it don't break. And the missiles here. I should leave the short ones in there. But yeah, so that is what I picked up. Which was the, you know, oh, it's, it's got, yeah, it's because of that screen thing. So yeah, you can see somebody... Yeah, see, it was twenty nine eighty, and that's exactly what I paid for it shipped. So <laughs> that was not a bad deal, you know. Somebody got it brand new for that much, and I just, you know, twenty years later, reimbursed them for that. But there's no date on the box. Now, here's the thing about the reissue, which is kind of strange, but it's got no text back. And that whole section here would have been on the top or something. I'm not sure. But it's got no text back. So it's, I think this is supposed to come with a card. But here's the instructions. And the instructions themselves have nothing in them, I think. Yeah, see, these are black and white instructions. So you know this is from... Well, it says 1980, 1983, but I think this was 2000, 2001, 2000, 2001, there you go, 2001, guys. So, made in China, 2001. Um, May, that's specific, wow. May 2001. So, yeah. So, just missing those two and the, and the regular colored fist for Starship. Nothing on the back. So, that's not bad, that's cool. Speedo wa Jetto Fighter number one. <laughs> Star Scream Transformer Destro. Anyway, so that does it for today's unboxing number um, 53. Again, I didn't expect this, but I've been looking for these parts. Uh, the last time you saw me, I picked up two sets of the foot plates. I picked up the, the fist because we need them for our combiner prime. Uh, I picked up some extra parts here that we might be able to use for our combiner prime, like I said. Uh, and th it's more than just a combiner prime. There's, there's more to it. But anyway, thank you for watching today. Unboxing number 53. Thank you for being a member of the channel. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. Share, like, comment. Let us know what you think. Have you ever had uh, any reissues, original reissues, or reissues of reissues known as Encore or whatever? And now they're reissuing even more toys, right? You know, with that sound wave, that blaster. But anyway, God bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, take care. And I will gladly see you guys on the next episode of the 5R Show. Have a good one, guys. Take it easy. See you next time.